So, um, you certainly heard about the Roswell incident, did you? I, yes, I knew about the Roswell incident, and, uh, and because my family were uh, farmers and ranchers, we knew the people, uh, presumably, where the uh, uh, alien craft came down, and that was in the lore of the, of the period. And I had no first-hand experience of alien uh, culture or uh, alien craft, but only th through the what I call the old timers, the people who were there at the time and heard their stories. And um, then in my later life, uh, I investigated some and realized that we had been visited many times. So you, you're saying that an alien spacecraft came down in Roswell in 1947? Well, in, in a ranch near Roswell in 1947, up, up north, uh, north and west of the, of the town itself, on the ranch. But what makes you believe that? Well, the, the old timers had, had talked about it, that uh, the, the, uh, the military people, the intelligence people uh, from that period uh, because I was an astronaut and went to the moon, we were willing to talk about it. And even though they were on security oath, uh, they wanted to pass on their stories before they died. And I was selected to do that. And, and did they tell you so before 1980, before the whole story became public? Uh, no. Well, I think it's become public over the years. There were people I knew over the years. No, it was in, it was in the 1980s or so that I, I became quite convinced that what they were telling me was true. So, so these were high-ranking uh, military people? Well, some of them. There were some people that were military and intelligence people of considerable rank. Okay, so uh, what do you think happened to the remnants of, uh, you know, to what crashed there? I really don't know. I was Kirk, Kirk often said somewhere, and I suspect to a military facility somewhere. I don't know for sure the answer to that. Can, can you imagine that there's some kind of back engineering program going on? Well, I think there probably has been. Um, how successful it is, I don't know. There's, there's much about the program that is still very mysterious. Next on the moon says aliens exist and that the government has been covering up incidents of contact for years now. Dr. Edgar Mitchell says aliens have visited our planet and he believes the government covered up the discovery of an alien spacecraft in 1947 as well as four alien bodies that were found in the desert. The reason for the denial was, uh, number one, we didn't, they didn't know that these were hostile and could we uh, protect ourselves from them. Didn't want the Soviets to know, so they devised to, to lie about it and cover it up. Well, Dr. Mitchell is a veteran of the Apollo 14 mission and he walked on the moon back in February of 1971. There was something out there that um, was close enough to be observed, and uh, what could it be? Traveling alongside Apollo 11 was a mysterious subject, like this one filmed in a later mission. If the object wasn't part of Apollo's rocket, it could be only one thing. A UFO. Mike decided he thought he could see it in the telescope and he was able to do that and when when it was in one position it had a series of ellipses but when you made it real sharp it was sort of L-shaped that didn't tell us very much. NASA knew very little about um, the object reported by the Apollo 11 crew. It was obviously an unidentified 
flying object, but such objects were not uncommon. And the history of even Earth orbit space flights going back over the previous years indicated that several crews saw objects. Despite having a clear view of the UFO, the crew were wary of reporting it to mission control. Now, obviously, the three of us were not going to uh, blurt out, Hey, Houston, we got something moving alongside of us, and uh, we don't know what it is. You know, can you tell us what it is? We weren't about to do that. Because uh, we know that uh, the, those transmissions would be heard by all sorts of people and uh, uh, who knows what somebody would have demanded that we uh, turn back because of aliens or whatever the reason is. So we, we didn't do that, but we did uh, decide we, we just cautiously ask uh, Houston where, how far away was the S4B? Unaware of the drama unfolding in space, Mission Control radioed the position back to Apollo 11. Apollo 11, Houston, the S-4B is about 6,000 nautical miles from you now, over. And a few moments later, boy, they came back and said something like it was 6,000 miles away because of the maneuver, so we... We really didn't think we were looking at something that far away. So we decided uh, that after a while of watching it, you know, we, it was time to go to sleep and not to talk about it anymore until we came back and, and debriefing. To this day, whatever it was the crew saw has never been positively identified or officially acknowledged. possibility that you might encounter aliens in space uh, has to be considered in a very sensible and positive and realistic way. Um, there were a lot of people within the program who went off later and became convinced that UFOs existed. And that led to some concern on NASA's part where they got the agreement of the crew never to publicly talk about these things for fear of ridicule.